I'm Mari Pulkkinen. I'm a composer, music producer, used to be sound designer as well, and I made the first Shrine soundtrack. I started doing music as a hobby. I used tracker, mod trackers, like these old school programs that I coded the music in. So I did that very long time until I joined Frozen Byte as an in-house music and audio director. I've composed all Trine music since one to three. Now we have Trine four. How do I make new ideas? How do I make Trine to sound like something new, but still Trine? Trine four is a bit darker. Trine two, we had goblins. It was more war-like. There was much more drums than in any other Trine series. But here I rarely used drums. Mini orchestra playing there, but in folk settings. That universe is music box and the Trine world is inside the music box. This time with Trine 4 I really wanted to make every character unique. Pontius the Knight, I really love his current song in Trine 4. I've used lots of string instruments, wind instruments and flutes, oboes, of course strings are always there. The choir is something that I've been using as well. My favorite tracks in Trine 4 are Moonlight Forest, Basically all the character themes in like, there's a lot of good moments in everywhere of the soundtrack. One level especially that I designed the music in a way that the castle is cursed and stuck in time loop. Feels like the time has stuck. There's no escape from there. The nightmares of the different characters in Trine, they mirror their the horror moment of their life. I tried to make it funny a bit as well. So it's not only a horror story, it's like this tragic comedy. It's audiovisually that kind of game that it sucks you in because it's so mesmerizing. That was why one of the goal for the soundtrack as well. I think that Trine 4 is gonna blow people's mind. It's an actual continuation after Trine 2 basically. And you know, the magic is back. Mm -hmm.